I'm giving you this red smoky eye, honey. Like, what? Oh, girl, I'm giving you school, girl. I need my book bag. I need my books. I'm ready for school, baby. I'm giving you school, girl. Class is in session, okay? Class is definitely in session, baby. It is your girl, Stacy Wu. Welcome to my channel. I appreciate everybody that is watching right now. And right now, I'm basically giving you this red, cool, smoky eye with this blue under eye and also a wing. And if you like this look and if you want to see how I created this look, make sure you stay tuned and keep on watching this video. But while you're going to keep on watching this video, you might as well hit that like and that subscribe button and also that notification bell button because baby i'm new on the block but i got some good content coming for my girls and we about to get it in so keep on watching this video Mwah. first thing i already did i have already um moisturized my face i use rose hip oil and i also use rose water spray and this is the rose water spray that i use right here and I just spray my face and just spray it and let it air out because I have desert island skin. And if you don't know what desert island skin is, I mean that thing is dry, baby. So I'm gonna go in milk and do my prime, prime my face. I love this primer. Like this primer is so good on my skin. I love it. I only need like a little drop, as you can see, it's just a little bit. So, and rub it all on my face on my complicated areas and that's just basically like my t-zone area we're gonna get to the eyebrows and i love using this precisely brow pencil from um, benefit this is like the best brow pencil that you can use it gets right into it especially if you're not really you know what i'm saying like really experienced with doing your eyes. But now since I'm a little more experienced, it has definitely helped me. So moving right along, I use the, right now I'm doing the LA Pro Concealer and I use this in the color Toast. And the reason why I use this is because I like my under eyes to be the same complexion. Oh, I forgot, I use my MAC brush for my under eye. I will link everything below if I forget, I promise I will. Now I'm gonna move in with blending my brow, like blending the concealer under my brow. And I take a cute fluffy brush. This brush I actually got from Amazon. So I'm gonna take this brush and just blend it in to give it that perfect natural look. All right, since we are done with that, we're going to move forward with concealing the eye, um, um, eyelids. And I'm going to try, I just got this, but I heard it's amazing. So I'm going to try the 16-hour Cameo Concealer from e.l.f. Yes, I do my eyes first. I'm not that experienced to be doing my eyes after I do my foundation and stuff. So we're going to start with these eyes first. Also, my baby is in the back. So if you hear her calling my name, Stacy, Stacy, Stacy. That is her. <laughs> So now since I put my base on so my eyes can definitely pop, I am going to use the James Morphe palette. I know everybody has heard about this palette. I feel like this is the best beginner palette. Like seriously, this palette is a palette that, you know, it has all the colors and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you guys, but I know for a fact that everybody has, you know, basically, seen this palette so I'm I found my brush 
So this brush right here, I actually got this brush from Target. It's a cool brush. Yes, it's a little dirty because actually I took all my makeup off after my shoot just to shoot this um, video and I wanted to do the same look for you guys. So that's the only reason why a couple of my brushes are still looking a little dirty, okay? So don't be talking about me. Don't be talking shit. Don't be talking that smack. I'm going to take um, for my transition color we're going to use this color right here that little light it looks like a light orange but I'm going to use that as my transition shade you know what I'm saying? I get it I get it So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit Bye -bye. and um, tell y'all just a little bit about myself. I was definitely, definitely, definitely that girl that sat up there and spent almost like 200 a month because the makeup artist that I was going to, she would charge like 55 or 65 and I used to always I have a lot of photo shoots I have a lot of events that I go to because me and my husband we have a line and it's called Munjing Wong and you know I've been doing this for a long time you know what I mean so me doing the fashion stuff I never really got into makeup so now I just been doing makeup all right, since we got that down, I'm going to use this popping, popping, popping. Ooh, sorry. I'm going to use this red. This red right here, right there, right there. I'm going to use that red, and then I'm going to use that in my crease. And also, I'm going to use it on my lid. But I'm going to show you. I got you. I got you. We're here. We is here. Okay. As you can also see, I'm using the same brush. You know what I mean? When you first start doing your makeup, try to get brushes that you're really, really comfortable with. And every brush is different because every eye and eyelid is different. Some people got lids, some people don't. And like, as you can see, like my crease right here, I kind of like using this type of brush because it really gets in my crease. And I like it a little bit bigger because it takes me less time to do my eyes because the main focus always is your eyes also skin but you know you be wanting your eyes to be popping okay it's popping it's popping it's popping it's popping yeah but yeah guys i was definitely that girl that used to pay to get my makeup done a lot and then I was like, man, I'm tired of being on other people's time. I'm tired of, if I can't get my makeup done, if they if, if they not available, it's like I basically can't get my makeup done. I have to be on somebody else's time. So I just learned on my own. Now, since we got that transition color down, I'm going to take a Morphe. Yes, it's still dirty because I just used it on this thing before on this eye makeup before and I'm doing the same eye makeup I told y'all that so don't be talking smack now but yes I'm going to take this Morphe brush and just put everything on my lid So now since I got that on, I'm going to go in with the same, same brush and just don't touch the lid, but go right in your crease and just blend that out. Now I'm going to take a clean brush. This is another brush that I got from Amazon and I'm going to take a clean brush and just blend my edges. Baby. 
Also, when you're blending, make sure your hand is very far away so you can really get a blend. Because I noticed when I was blending real close like this, it was like really, really harsh. So what I try to do is blend from a distance. You feel what I'm saying? Because you get a more lighter hand. And, you know, you can just just much lighter so now we have that all settled I um, <clears throat> actually did a wing liner so I'm going to do that wing liner again and I actually use this um, I had wanted to try it because it was like a metallic color but it's still black and I wet and wow so you can go to any drugstore and get it you feel what I'm saying I'm going to use this as my wing now wing oh my god that was the hardest thing I learned but I learned it so with that being said I can't really talk but I'm going to try to show you guys how I did my wing liner so the first thing I do I take my eyes and I try to wing it like look at it and see where I want it because sometimes I can do it up or sometimes I can do it straight across you can either go up or straight across but right now I just want it straight across and I don't want it so long because I still want that cute look I'm going to take some concealer and I'm going to use a brush from my crayon case. A teeny bit of concealer to clean that up. And I just blend that out. So now since I have my under eye, we're going to go right back into that James Morphe palette. And we're going to use this cool blue this light blue right here and then we're going to go into this blue right here and I'm actually going to take the F the elf smudge brush to smudge under my eye so what I do first I do the dark matter of fact I'm going to do this dark blue and I'm gonna do this um, shimmer this shimmer blue right here that you see it's so beautiful and it's really poppy so I'm going to do that under my eye and brush it under my eye. Daddy. I usually do all under my eye because I have creasing under my eye, so that's why I smoke out my under eye too. Cause the crease is real under these eyes, baby. It's real. Now since I'm done with that, I'm going to take this little, little teeny um, uh, Morphe brush for the under eyes. It's also from the Chrome collection. And I'm going to dip right into that dark blue shimmer and put that over top. Today we're going to use the Kiss Lashes. I love these lashes. Pop these lashes right on. So now I have popped on my lashes as you guys can see and I'm going to use the mascara by um, Maybelline. It is the Great Lash Mascara. Now this is the only mascara that I use. Um, it's very dear to my heart because my grandma used to use this and I used to always see this so I don't use no other lash because every time when I use this it makes me think about my grandma so I love you grandma rest in peace so now we're going to get into this skin and what I do real real quick I use my favorite favorite setting spray in the whole wild world and it is the morphe setting spray so I just take this before I put on my foundation and I take this and I just spray this on my face 
So now after I do that, I take the um, Mac, um, the Mac Studio Fix um, perf um, Perfecting Power Powder. I use this in the color Dark Deep. This little remedy um, I actually got from Jackie O. Oh, Jackie, 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 Jackie. A Jackie, 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 Jackie. A Jackie, 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 Jackie. A Jackie, 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 Jackie. Jackie Anna, that is my girl. I love you, girl. You taught me a lot, girl. You the bomb, girl. But yeah, I use this. And because I have complicated skin, and I know that this definitely works, I just dab the powder only on where my complicated areas are. And when I tell you this work, Jackie, a uh, Jackie, Jackie, you put me on, boo. I love you, girl. I hope you watching this. So, but yes, I, I'm crazy, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. Yeah, I just dab it on everything that needs work. So now we're gonna go into foundation and the foundation that I use is the Fenty Beauty and I use this in the color 440. I love Rihanna by the way. Oh my God, that's my boo. Like she, whoa baby, you just don't know how much love you. I love you Rihanna. Uh, can't wait to dress you one day. <laughs> I usually pump it like pump, pump like two pumps on my hand and then dab all around. I use um this type of brush and I dab it into the skin. And I don't worry about anything like mistakes. Like I got a little mistake right here. I don't worry about that because when I do my concealer, I'm going to conceal that. And just look how that just... And even though it looks a little light on my skin, it's not. The camera is actually doing that. Now since we have the foundation on, I'm going to use some concealer. And what I use for conceal, to conceal my eyebrows, I mean I said my eyebrows. <laughs> I mean to conceal my under eye, I use um, the, um, I'm going to jump back into the LA Girl Pro Concealer and the Warm Warm Honey. And I'm just going to take that and squeeze a little bit. Rub it on my hand and then take it. Oh, I squeeze a little too much. And then just conceal it under my eye. I take this flat brush right here. This is another brush that I got from Amazon. And I take this and I dab it under my eye. The beauty blender that I am using is the Morphe beauty blender. I love this beauty blender because it also has like a flat part right here. And I usually use that for like the contour. So I love this beauty blender. It's like a lifesaver. Now I'm gonna bring some more, you know, dimension into my face because I'm looking very light right now. So what I definitely use is the NYX Wonder Stick. I love this stick. This stick is cool as hell. Like and this color that I have is dark deep.
Now, since we have that, I'm going to take this uh, e.l.f. Um, blurring, blurring brush. I'm going to hurry up because I just forgot that I needed to set my face and I actually use the Can't Stop Won't, Won't Stop by NYX. Um, I have to, I, like just remember like I have to set my face or you know I'll really start like creasing. I take that same beauty blender and I dab just a little bit, dab it on my hand like that and I just place it into my skin and I'm not the person that can leave and bake I'm not a baker now we're going to set the entire face for contour I use the NYX professional three-step sculpt like and I take a fluffy brush this is another brush that I got off of Amazon and it's so cool but it's a fluffy brush but I like this brush because it has like a mini point or whatever so I take that dark Take two taps, tap it on the side. Then I take a little bit of that shimmer and I tap a little bit of that too and put it on my cheekbone. And I do it like a, like a half C. So now since we are done glowing the face, I'm going to go back in with my Morphe and I'm going to spray my whole entire face. Mm, I love this spray, it's so good. So right after I do that and while my face is still wet, I'm going to hurry up and jump in um, into this um, e.l.f. I, I love this and I love that it has a mirror, it's from e.l.f. And this is the um, blush called Rose. I love it, it's so, so good. And then I'm gonna go back into that same brush that I use my contour, and I'm gonna dab in that. Can you see that? Mm. Beautiful. Okay. Now since we have completed that, we're going to go back into the eyes. And I always do this last for some reason. I don't know why, but I always do the last part of my eyes at the end. That and my lips, so I always do that. And we're gonna use this cool rose, um, I mean this gold color right here. And I'm just going to dab some of that on my brush. Then I'm going to take my rose water spray bring it in oh shout out to Jackie you showed me that as well girl you is just girl, just love you and then I'm going to put that in the corner of my eye love and now since we are done the face now I'm going to do lip. I mean, I know everybody back in the day used to use this. It is the MAC lip glass. Like, come on. Y'all know this was y'all first lip. You know? You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I'm going to put this on my lips. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys love this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you got a lot of tips from it. And if you really did like this look, make sure you like, comment, and share this video. Also, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I have some cool stuff coming to you. And again, it's your girl Stacey Wu. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.